Hey everyone, your fantabulous host Shinkaron here. Tip my hat to you all as usual. Anyways, um, so I just got back from a holiday trip out to Nebraska to see my folks along with my brother and sister-in-law. Uh, and it was a very awesome time. However, I am still very tired from getting back all of yesterday, so you might notice that today doesn't have your typical normal episode. Oh, going on, I mean, I'm still unpacking stuff. I still have like a bajillion things to go through before I'm back to where I was, but uh, of course, I still have to do my day job. Uh, today was day one of nine days in a row that I've got of coming back here, but hey, you know what? Th that's what pays the bills. It pays the bills. Any who's it's, I just wanted to make a little vlog and talk to all you guys for a second. Talk about where Drinking in Dungeons is, where I want it to go, and, uh, you know, the usual BS and sort of things. And then I'll just mess around, do something fun for a little bit, uh, something I want to start up, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, uh, talking about where Drinking Dungeons is right now, um, as you know, we recently hit 150 subscribers. I released that video of me singing all those Pokemon songs in celebration. That was pretty fun. Uh, check that out if you haven't yet, because uh, let's just face it, I've, I enjoyed making a fool of myself. It was definitely exhausting since I did not practice many of those songs more than once or twice before recording them. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun was a lot of fun, and I can hear myself sound like a total idiot in it, but apparently people who listen to it, it are like, no, nah, you did all right, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Uh, what does that even mean? I'm like, oh, Pfft. but yeah. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? What are the words that I'm coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Any who's it. I thought that it could have been better, but most of the feedback I've been getting on it is that it went pretty well, and it was what people were wanting to see from me. So I'm very grateful about that, and I'm working in my head about what the next subscriber count goal should be, because I thought that was a good, good thing. I thought that... Uh, you people out there who watch my stuff seem to enjoy watching me make a complete and total fool of myself, which, yay, I do that naturally without trying. But it was also just something sort of fun to kind of encourage myself to go out and find more viewers and also try and encourage people to, you know, click that subscribe button that, if you haven't seen it, there'll be one at the end of this video. And there's always one down if you're actually watching this in YouTube. There's one uh, right below me. You should go ahead and click that whenever you're feeling like it. I'll wait. I'll be here. Anytime. Okay, enough of that silliness. Anywho's, um, I also wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what those of you who actively do come and watch my videos, what do you want to see more of? What do you want to see me do? I mean, I know I ask for this at the end of every video, but I thought it was important to, you know, take the time and formally explain in why I ask that bit to you guys. Because, let's face it, every YouTube channel is lives and thrives off of its viewers. And that's why, really, if you want to see me keep doing silly things, if you want to see me play particular games, if you want to even come up with drinking rules for a game that I'm already playing, or if you want me to go back and do more of a game that I started already, or if there's just anything at all that pops into your mind, by all means, take the fi take five seconds, type out like five, five to ten words, or even whatever it is, I will read it. I read all the comments I get. I've been trying to respond to all of them as well. I don't always do that because, as, let's face it, real life gets in the way, but I try to make sure that I can communicate with you guys because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to entertain you. Ooh, so, by all means, let me know what you want to see. It helps me out, and if it helps you guys out, have something more zany to watch, then uh, by all means. And what am I doing with this? Why do I keep doing this? 
Does anyone even know what this is from? Because I certainly don't. But I do it constantly. What, are my fingers having an argument with one another? Behave, fingers, behave. Behave, we all have to live on these hands together. Oh, gods, I'm making a complete and total fool of myself, and that was not at all the intention of this video. Anywho's, it's, um, yeah, I know it seems like I'm bright and happy and energetic, but I, I am. I am very glad that I got to go home and see my family. I had a wonderful time. It was exactly the sort of holiday break that I was hoping it would be, and so much more, too. And, uh, oh, I got a shiny to show you guys if I can reach it back here. Ugh, there it is. <sighs> I got the new uh, 3DS XL Hyrule Edition. It's very shiny, and it's definitely a much better 3D sweet spot, so I would love it if I could figure out how to record stuff for that, but from what I understand, you have to actually get it modified in Japan or something if you want to record off the 3DS, so uh, let's, uh, let's put a pin in that. However, I am capable of emulating DS games, and there are several DS games I already own, and it's not exactly expensive to go pick out more, her, and uh, yeah, so by all means, if there's even DS titles you want to see, or even going further back to the Game Boy Advance or something, in fact, um, I believe that I might be able to figure out how to emulate PSP titles even. So, really, the floor is very open to what I can do for you guys. Is I just want to hear from you guys what you want to do, because otherwise I'll just keep playing stuff I want to play and, and make a total idiot of myself. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. On that same sort of subject, I you may have noticed I have done a couple of videos for some... Shut up, Skype! I'm doing a thing! I did a couple of videos for some publishers and developers I met at PlayStation Experience. That was a really awesome time. I was really glad to do that, and I'm still trying to correspond with a couple of people that gave me their business cards there. If you're watching developers and publishers, hey, hit me up. I love to talk to you guys. I love to see your stuff. I love to show your stuff to other people and try and convince them to buy it, so it's a win-win. <laughs> But yeah, I've been trying to do that, and there's... I kind of want to do more of, of that stuff, because that was a wonderful experience for me, and I feel like I was only just starting to scrape the tip of the icebergs with what games I have done. I feel like there's a lot more potential to do in those, those games, particularly Rogue Continuum. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, Hacknet, I want to do more of it, but I'm probably going to play more on my own so I don't waste everyone's time being an idiot because I'm not the most computer literate person in the world. I know enough how to operate my own machine. When it comes to, like, command prompts and stuff, I usually rely on assistance from some friends and family. And also friends of family. I have quite a few friends that uh, thankfully help keep my stuff in working condition. And, and I'm very grateful for them and them. Anywho, so I'd like to do more of that, and I want to hear what you guys think too. Would you like to see me do more or of those uh, game games, those indie games, those those sort of thing, or would you prefer that you see more AAA titles from me? And uh, as always, uh, I'm always in the market for more suggestions on drinking rules. So if you see something that I'm totally overlooking. Shout it out in the comments as a drinking rule suggestion. I'm all for that. Now, getting on to a more silly topic that I wanted to do for this uh, vlog. Um, vlog, that, that doesn't even sound like a word. Probably because it isn't. Anywho, so a slightly sillier but also really interesting topic I want to get into is for the holidays, my brother and sister-in-law gave me this book called 712 More Things to Write About, and it's full of, like, it's just full of writing prompts. Things to basically inspire you to write. Write something in 10 minutes, basically. 
he it's a and I've paged through a couple of things on here and I found myself laughing and I found myself thinking you know that would make for a really good story he, and I really love to write but I'm always writing something but I'm not always like liking what I they write enough to want to put it out to the public, but I want to do that more often. I want to break that mental block of, oh, this isn't good enough to share it with anyone. I want to be like, no, I wrote it. It's worth sharing. And of course, granted, a lot of the stuff that I do write is just stupid little RP stuff with my friend. It's like Pathfinder or characters that we come up in our heads and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but uh, yeah. It's all very fun, but what I want to start doing with this is I want to start doing more of these uh, blog, uh, these video blogs, and where every so often I'll just sit down, read a couple of suggestions from the book, come up with a short little story or snippet of an idea, uh, and share it with you guys. And then I also want to present them to you guys and see what you guys come up with in the comments. I want you to post what what comes to your mind when I read prompts from this book. Look, because this is this is really great stuff, and I think that would be a lot of fun. I think that would get a lot more of interaction between myself and you, the viewers, as well. Well, because that's something that we can all participate in. And like I said, it only the prompts in this are designed to be something that you can write on in like five minutes or so. Oh, in fact, let me read the intro to you. Ooh. Okay. Write an introduction to this book. Imagine you have been enrolled in a creative writing class in the local college's adult and extended education program. You're not going to be graded. You're just there to learn. It's the first night of class. You took a seat in the second row. You don't know anyone. The very first thing the teacher does is give the class a five-minute free writing assignment, which you will read aloud to the class when you're done. Here's the prompt. Something you used to do that you no longer do. Go. An idea of that thing that you used to do pops into your mind. But as you pick up your pen, you start to wonder if perhaps a better idea is just around the corner. A second idea is suddenly there. It is indeed a better idea. But oh, you're not sure that's a subject you want to read aloud to strangers. Now your mind is warmed up. It's generating many ideas, and each of them are simultaneously evaluating for whether it is better than the others. You keep returning to that second idea, the embarrassing and revealing one, till you dare. A minute has passed, four minutes to get it on paper. Creativity is defined as the production of something both novel and useful, so it requires uniqueness, yet it must be somehow appropriate to the given context. It can't just be totally crazy idea, it has to be one of those crazy ideas that isn't so crazy after all. In the mind, it takes blender pulses of divergent thinking and convergent thinking as you generate ideas and evaluate them. And now, sit in there in class, with pen to page, repeats the blender pulses for every single sentence. You could start the sentence this way or that. Which way is best? Faster, you think. Just right. But no sentence escapes its cycle. Even if you don't touch or edit the words hitting the page, the mind spins and sees other ways it could be composed. You toss these thoughts out just as fast as new ideas flow in. This is the state of writing. Here are 712 more things to write about. We realized since our first book, except 642 things to write about, that we needed a higher concentration of prompts that you could actually complete in 5 to 10 minutes. In that sense, they needed to be more useful to this context, yet they still needed the playful elements that provokes the mind to dance and pulse. Not all are like this, just more of them proportionally. Enjoy! Ho Bronson, San Francisco's writer's grotto. So yeah, that gives you an idea what to expect from this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. In fact, uh, I got some time yet, so I'm going to quick flip to a page here fairly early on. Okay. No, I already messed with that one. Um, okay. Oh, here's two good ones. You are a coach who has just cut an 11-year old girl from the team. Write an email to her parents explaining why. Your daughter sucks at the sports ball. 
I do not think that competitive sports ball is the appropriate place for your daughter to be because of her aforementioned suckage at sports ball. Sports ball is a very competitive market and I do not think that it is appropriate for her fragile personality to have the fact that she sucks at it so much reinforced on a regular basis, i.e. every time she takes the field. Yours sincerely, Coach. I should be sober when writing this. Said. Obviously, that's not what I would actually say. Don't take any of that in con out of context. That was a ridiculous character made up on the spot for the sake of laughs. So, comment away. If, you, if there was an 11-year-old girl that you had to cut from the team as the coach of the school, what would you write? And the whole reason that I picked that prompt is... Going back, gotta find the page again. The following prompt is... Now you are the school principal. Write an email to the coach who got the girl from the team explaining why he is being fired. <clears throat> um, thank you for your attention, coach. Should be sober when writing this. I hope that you realize that here at the elementary school, we do not approve of the term suckage at sports ball used in a professional manner. We also want to you to know that we are asking you to clear out your desk and vacate the building by the end of the day, as you are no longer going to be employed at this institute. Uh, this, you should realize that you have brought a great deal of legal vulnerability to this institution and we will not tolerate it. So once again, please have your desk cleared out by the end of the day and vacate the premises. We hope that you have a pleasant day and wish you luck with your future ventures as a no longer coach should be sober when writing this. Pleasant day. Sincerely, I just totally blanked on what I was going to name the principal. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it's full of things like that, and that's just one example. I want to see if I can find a slightly more interesting one. Um, okay, here's a really good one. The classics tell us of the nine muses who inspire epic poetry, love, poetry, music, oratory, dance, tragedy, comedy, history, and astronomy. Less well-known are Muses 10 through 18. What do they inspire? So you come up with, let's see, nine more Muses, and gotta come up with what they inspire. Um, this actually reminds me of an interesting story that one of my friends told me about, of how it was like, I think it was the Mo I think it was a Neil Gaiman book, or maybe something about modern gods. Anyways, there, in this book that they mentioned, there was a god of media, because media is, as particularly television, is such a huge deal to us nowadays that where the concept of worshipping multiple gods of something has kind of drowned out, we instead devote a lot of attention to media. Uh, we pay attention to our televisions constantly. It's almost a form of worship in itself. So a deity would have to adapt to how people nowadays lived and what they did and what they write and what they do what and so to me in my mind I would think okay muses 9 through 10 they're lesser known muses is but in my mind shut up Skype there's going to be a muse of instant messaging it's the muse that inspires you to make those witty quirky little comments in your Skype if that makes your your Friggin' computer ding every time you're trying to record a video and do something! So there, one of nine muses done. It's a modern, very modern muse, lesser known, not many people know about it, but it does the job, and it does the job constantly, and it doesn't ever get thanked for it. So you should thank it right now, today, next time you go to send an instant message to someone. 
Anyways, I want to see in the comments below what ideas you guys have for Muses number 11 through 18 following up that prompt. And uh, if I see some really good ones, who knows, I might read them aloud in the next uh, vlog. Anywho, it's that's all the time. Shut up, Skype! The Muse is working overtime today, apparently. Anyways, so I'm running out of time for this message. I'm pretty tired. I still got to get this edited and put online in, in time for tomorrow. So thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Respond to anything that I talked about in the vlog today. And as always, click that subscribe button. We will see you next time. Bye-bye!